What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the Derby Day pack. So this is a two-parter of a video. We covered the Liverpool players already and now we are co covering the Carabao champions at Manchester United. Obviously I am a Manchester United fan myself. So GG's to United. It was a great win in the Carabao Cup. But anyway, let's get on to it. I'm disappointed, man. I'm very, very, very disappointed with some of the cards here. We've got two good and two weird cards. That's how I'm going to describe this, right? We're going to start off with the main man, one of the best players in the world at the moment, and I think United's most important player. It is Casemiro, absolute tank. Now, he is a good, good card in this. We take a look at a couple of his base stats. We've also got blocker and interception as a DMF and unwavering form. That's huge, right? That is huge. He is on C rating, but following on, I think from next week, he's going to be on A and B for the rest of the season, man. He's absolutely insane. And also, he is one of the best players in the game with his AI as well and his playing style and stuff like that. I do think that they have captured his card, you know, good. I would have liked to have seen him go up to like maybe a 96 overall, um, such for the season that he's having. But this guy, as an anchor man, he's got really good base pass uh, attributes. He's got really good defensive stats you know, straight off the rip, and he's got 21 levels to go as well, so I do like his standard card as well, but I definitely think that this card is the ultimate version of him, if you haven't picked up another version of him that was already out there, there have been some fairly beastly versions of Casemiro, right, but when we actually go over, there's two ways of training him up, and it depends on your play style, right, so obviously when I'm doing training guides, I try to take into consideration that different people um, have different ways of playing and everyone plays the game differently whether you're a newcomer or whether you're a veteran of the series and have played a lot of eFootball you know having a foundation for the players uh, play style um, you know like adjusting stuff to suit your tactics and play style is going to be key right but I think Casemiro does have a couple of base uh, progression things that you can do to make this card very 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 OP and very meta if you are looking to play the game you know super super sweat mode or super style mode is what I would say, right? Um, and the first version of him is this version here where we have kind of an all-rounder, right? So we've adjusted his speed and acceleration to bring those up to 70. And then we also have adjusted his passing to bring that up to 80 low pass. The, low, the passing in V2.4 at the moment, in my opinion, is very, very, very all over the place sometimes. So I don't think that the passing is as important. The, the, the stats aren't as important, I don't think, as they were before. Um, so if you are looking for an all-round version of Casemiro, I think this is your best bet. But you will need to manually defend. You'll need to manually position him a little bit more. And obviously, you'll need to play him in a system that has a little bit more um, balance in it. You know, if you're playing a 4-2-4, you're playing something like a 4-3-3, where Casemiro is your main stopper, then I definitely do think you need to go for the second version of him, which I think is probably the best and I think is the more foolproof proof v2.4 uh, version of him that you should go for you're basically maxing out his defense with 12 uh, points into that and then we're going to put four into aerial strength seven into lower body strength to bring his stamina up to 90 his speed up to 73 and then we also just put one or two into dribbling as well now if if it was me right for the for the style i play um i think this kind of will suit 90 percent of people that were looking for an absolute beast in the middle of the pitch, right, that can just block things and pretty much defend for you. But if it was for me using kind of a possession-based play style, I would definitely uh, take two off that, three off that, sorry lads. I would leave that at four. I would probably take one off that as well. But what I'm trying to do here is max out my dribbling. So yeah, I'd probably put six into dribbling to get that tight possession and ball control as close to 80 as possible. Um, that is probably where I would go with that. We still have our stamina. We still have our defensive stats in the 90s. Absolutely insane. Um, but I think for the tight possession and the ball control, I think that's most important in V2.4 if you are playing out wide or you like to hold on to possession, even though the gameplay doesn't really suit that at the moment. Right, next up we have got Varane. He is insane stats as well. I think there's the best way to train him is this. He fits any system. You've got 76 speed straight off the rip. You don't need to touch that. Stamina is a bit of an issue, obviously, because that has changed a lot in V2.4. But I genuinely think you should be probably using all your five subs with the way the game plays at the moment anyway. Because, you know, chances are, unless you're a brand new to the game, you have probably trained up a lot of your main players, like your legends, your epic players, as it is, um, without really taking stamina into consideration for a lot of your center halves or for a lot of your DMFs or whatever. So I definitely think just max out his defending, get him up to the 90s. You have him and Casemiro here. They're going to be insane. Um, and I think that's the best version of him. Now, 
extremely disappointed with Rashford's card, lads. I think they've really done him dirty in this. In my opinion, I think that this card should be maxing out at at least a 94. That has way better finishing stats than it does, right? So off the rip, his standard card is 67. Like, it's 78 overall, but he's got 67 finishing, right? This card that we have here... Um, is going to have, what, 69 finishing, so it's not even that much higher, right? And when we try to max out his shooting, we can only put 11 into shooting if we want to upgrade the dribbling. We still can't get his tight position up into the 80s. We have 90 speed, but we've only got 75 stamina. It's a very, very disappointing card, in my opinion. I think that they should have really kind of, like, focused on Rashford a lot more. I know he's having an amazing season, but obviously when we look at the Liverpool pack, like, Gakpo, stat for stat, completely, like, floors him with the stats and the fact that Gakpo can play center forward obviously makes no sense, you know, because obviously that's done probably to balance the, the team. Rashford can play up there, but he's only going to max out at 80 finishing. Like if you even take away the dribbling anymore to get more finishing, you're only going to get one more stat into that. And then you're going to have that tight possession at 70, 76, which isn't good enough. If you take away any of the dexterity, it's not the dexterity, it's not the acceleration you're worried about, it's the offensive awareness and balance. You can't really take that any more than that away. And then if you take away any of the lower body strength, you're going to lose your stamina. So I think this card is really kind of... Um, is really kind of bad and I think that it's a very disappointing one especially for the season that he's having and then even worse and even more crazy is the fact that Martial look maybe I'm biased because I'm a United fan but look at Martial's stats lads right he's going to have better stats nearly all around compared to Rashford Rashford's got 90 acceleration um and well he's got 91 acceleration and 80 offensive awareness like Martial is going to have 80 awareness with 88 acceleration his his finishing is going to be 82 um his dribbling is going to go up into the 91 for dribbling so yeah bit disappointed with the United selection for the cards I genuinely think that Martial is a super sub as well is going to be a dangerous player to bring on um he is on C rating obviously Rashford's on A so he's going to get a boost to all his stats if you get him on an up form arrow but yeah bit disappointed with that Casemiro I think has been a monster could have been a little bit higher i mean if you had casemiro i would think with man if you had casemiro this card with tight possession at 80 i think this would be one of the best cards in the game by uh, by a mile like it would be able to compete with the epic players because those defensive stats are crazy Varane is very very decent a fast really high defensive uh defender that can defend for you or else you can manually defend for him and you know you can win balls in the air he's good height everything Rashford I think is the disappointing pick of these I genuinely think Rashford should be up way higher than that I think his finishing should have been a base level of at least 75 76 that you could boost it up a lot like if you wanted to get it into nearly 90 finishing I think you should have been able um because there's cards on the market there for GP that outperform Rashford and he's having an incredible season so yeah maybe I'm just biased as a United fan but let me know what you guys think and uh, let me know if you're going to spin or skip. I do have the Liverpool pack of four up as well for review. And we will get on to the eFootball club selection as well. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Peace.